Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Madonna helping you with painting and drawing videos to get you confident in art. And for today's video, I'm going to give you 5 tips on how to use references in your art. So let's get started. The first one is observational skills. Whether you are a complete beginner, aspiring artist, or expert already, using references are a great way to sharpen up your observational skills as an artist. So whether you are using live reference or photo references, being able to transfer your sketches, drawing or painting will help you level up your skills. Besides, it's your eyes that's a drawing or painting, yes. So most of the time, you thought that if you are aiming for realism in your art or is drawing any subject in front of you, observe and just see what you can see. I look at the colors, textures, be curious. How the light behaves in a particular subject this is a proven way to like get your right hemisphere of your brain working so let's go now to the next one for number two is improve your art let's face it if there is some reason that you like to always be using reference it's like what i mentioned before you need your observational skills to get that details or any way that you like to turn out and the main reason people use references is to improve their art so drawing from your memory can be hard especially if you don't have the basic fundamentals of art yet so we are really rely heavily on references but if you want to create high level of details and realism start to capture references and i really highly recommend it and for the third one is you can use references for ideas now this one is opposite with the previous one for this tip a gathering two or more references or photos will help you to be more creative why because you are pulling up ideas from different subjects or resources rather than just copying what you see in one picture or in one window so i hope it makes sense so this part is trying to be original Ideas are a powerful style that you can apply in your art and you can use it as your inspiration or even a technique too. So being able to use it as your references and put it together in one piece is just like a plane or solving a puzzle. But it is so satisfying afterwards and I highly recommend it. I use it to three or more references that you own and come up with ideas from it and you can do it for questions for today do you like to use references for your art yes or no please comment down below and i would love to see your answers and for the fourth one use references to hone your style yes who's your favorite artist and there are so many amazing artists from the masters to the present so back then when i am just starting i have artists in my mind that i really admire and i love their style it is because if you are still developing your art style, you are looking for creative or people that share the same style as yours or that you wish to have for the future. So if you are still looking or hunting for your art style, I made a separate video for that. You can check it out if you want to. And for the last one, use reference to beat art blogs. Yes, have you I'll find yourself scrolling down Pinterest or Unsplash? sometimes it is not because you want to improve your art or you want to learn something it is because you run out of ideas or painting ideas so what to draw or what to paint sometimes can keep you out from or freeze you from doing any art so references are so helpful too it can help you fill your sketchbook and provide you with resources as long as that is it's yours and you have consent to use it so if you can think of what you can draw or paint for today you can check it out my sketchbook ideas I have the whole playlist for that so there you go guys i hope i help you with how to use references in your art today and and thank you so much for supporting my channel i hope you continue creating and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye!